Hey hey everybody, to I'm Will Streets, and this is Elijah Rumpenberry, one of my good friends. We both ride unicycles, as you can see here. Um, I've been unicycling for two years, and I got into it when my neighbor Jeff Weimer uh, brought his out one day. And it's actually surprisingly easy to learn. It only takes the average person about two weeks, even though a lot of fast learners can get it down in one week, um, like Elijah did. Uh, do you want to say anything? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So, um, there's a lot of different types of unicycling. Most people think of it just like the circus riding around the clown and all. But actually, there's a wide variety of different types of unicycles. Um, what me and Elijah are doing today is called trials unicycling, and it's basically uh, trying to pick a line over an obstacle course and ride it on your unicycle. But there's also mountain unicycles for riding off-road, like um, at Oak Mountain State Park and off-road like that. Then there's beginner unicycles, which are basically geared, uh, they're a little cheaper, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on your first one to learn to ride on. And then um, there's street unicycles, for doing um, freestyle tricks and uh, that are just on flat ground. And um, then there's old school unicycles like this that just don't exist very often anymore. And then you've got the road cycles and the cross country. It's got a bigger tire and uh, you can go longer distances on it. Uh, so now we're just gonna do some tricks. So just riding around and demonstrate some of the different tricks you can do. Elijah here is doing one footed riding. actually only go a few feet. <laughs> um, those are part of freestyle unicycling. Um, there's a lot of other tricks out there like that. Um, um, here. And there's backwards riding, of course. <laughs> with your seat out front. <coughs> or your seat behind you. Well, or your seat behind you, which is even more difficult. <laughs> That's why you wear pads. Anyway. There's more difficult tricks. This is one I've been working on this week um, that I've only landed a few times. called a 180 uni spin. You spin the unicycle around in midair. Actually, I must say, that's like the fourth and fifth time I've ever done that. So, got that to witness something. Um, and then there's a synchronized riding. And this is more like the circus, y'all come up. Where people are, you have a bunch of unicyclists and they're, um, all doing something together, you know. Okay. This circus kind of almost like dancing on a unicycle. And it's it's usually what most people start out doing with a lot of other riders. Freestyle and circus. Do I want to do a pinwheel? I want to do a pinwheel? Yep. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Okay. We're gonna line up. Okay, now two people use this. Let's all ride it on the child. Okay, you start going. You know, go down the hand. I'll get on the other side. No, no. Hey. Wish we had a lot of trails. You'll probably 
probably see me riding around a lot this evening on all these trails doing some more interesting stuff. But here we've constructed a, a unicycle trial, which is, um, let's see, how should I explain that? Um, a unicycle trial can be anything from a set of stairs to uh, just hopping around on rocks. Basically, you have some sort of obstacle and you pick a way to get over it on the unicycle. Uh, we're gonna just hop around on this and just do some now. something. The trials isn't always the same. A lot of time it involves just picking a different way and it's not always so um, flat like this. Everything on this is flat. It um, has a flat top. Sometimes it would involve rocks to get a little harder to the unicycle on. There's gaps like that. Um, as well it's called crank grabbing and instead of hopping up onto something landing on your tire you land on your crank okay, let me show you here You can come out. I have some flyers and I'll be riding around today and handing these out. gentlemen and uh, like to say if you want more information about uh, unicycling uh, just see them in, right after this and they have some brochures and stuff there uh,